So uh, today I want to do the take two about innovation and how broken the system is, but I want to talk to you more about the future of innovation and what I believe some of the innovation that's going to have one of the biggest impact out there. Uh, also, I want to talk about how to scale your innovation and uh, funding uh, innovation. But let, let's start. Let's start with funding. Uh, one of the funniest things—it's not really funny—but one, one of the things that really irritate me the most when I go to conferences and I see consulting coming and talking about, well, you don't need that much money. Uh, to start your innovation, or, or first of all, innovation is about you know proving a concept that is going to work and solving a problem. But proving that the solution you have can work. So you do a lot of testing. You have to test quickly, implement, change, fix it. For example, it took us for us it took me a year and a half to find a model that will work for an innovative idea and how to solve poverty through entrepreneurship and how to bring digital content. Uh, in remote areas and rural and some urban a year and a half with little money. And every time you say, Well, I need money to do this, do this, and you hear consultants talking about, Well, you know, um, no, you don't need to contest the cheap. No, that's, that's bull crap. If anybody tells you that, and you know, if you're in an existing business that already been proven, uh, like trucking and all, then it's straightforward. You don't, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. But if you're in innovation, you're walking in, 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 in a place where, you know, very few people walk into. So you, there's no roadmap. There's no proof uh, out there unless you try to copy somebody else. You have to test. It takes money. It takes a team, especially, in, you know, in Africa, you have to have feel people on the field, and technology can only do so much. And I'll give you a perfect example. This company, this organization called Give Directly, and I, I recommend you check it, gives millions and millions of dollars, just give money to the pool. Um, and they have a very interesting technology where they gather so much data to understand what the pool using the money for, etc., 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 and they're trying to minimize uh, all the BS bureaucracy and the money getting lost during the value chain. And they raised, I don't know, 50 plus million dollars. 50 plus million dollars. That's one of the, I don't know if it's total, but anyway, they've raised millions of dollars to prove this concept of giving money. And the only reason why they're able to raise this kind of money, uh, well, one of the reasons is because obviously they have a strong team, they have connection. Uh, with a strong donor like Google gave us some money. So imagine you are there raising some money, trying to prove your concept, your technology, and they tell you, no, you don't need that much. Yeah, you can test your video. It's, it's bull crap. They're feeding you wrong information. You know, innovation requires more than money, obviously, but it requires funding because you have to quickly make Prove that your concept is working. Implement that concept. Change strategy. Implement. Change strategy. If you're in a technology, you have to have a tech team. If you're in a product development, that, that is even, you know, quadruple your cost and all that. So you need to have some good funding resources if you want to sustain. Because it's going to take time to not only prove your model, but find a, a working model. And that takes money. And, of course, not... VC is not fit for that. But you have to find funders that understand that and willing to fund that aspect and willing to understand that it may fail. And there is funders out there. Google is one of them, you know. So don't feed into that. The second thing I want to talk about is some of the one of the innovation that I believe is going to be a game changer. It's actually more of a platform, uh, virtual reality. I think that's going to that's going to have so many different applications. And unfortunately, leapfrogging, uh, you know, all this is dominated by uh, the United States, you know, in America, Facebook and all developing a lot of virtual reality. I know Asia is also getting into nothing happening in Africa. And this is what pissed me off, how we're behind so much on innovation. And again, going back to the broken system, but virtual reality is very interesting. 
I think that application is going to be a game changer. For example, in conferences, instead of having to, you know, go to conferences, you can actually, you know, participate on a conference uh, through virtual reality, meet people, network and all. That will save so much money. And that will allow also the interactive. Of course, the technology cost has to go down and they have to improve on the hardware um, somehow. But it has huge potential, huge potential, game change. What I love about innovation is not about just solving problems, but it brings efficiency when it's used properly. You know, it brings an efficient system, an efficient product, an efficient way, you know, and solve a problem and save a lot of freaking money. Attending conferences can call thousands, organizing conferences cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. So imagine if you can organize a whole conference internationally for, you know, a few thousand dollars. That would be amazing. The last thing I want to talk about is how to expand your innovation in Africa. And that's very interesting because um, that's something I've been thinking about and we've been working on for a long time now. Um, how to implement your innovation in different countries. And there's not just one answer. But one thing is for sure, you have to also be innovative in that aspect. You have to understand that this idea of physically going to all countries just not the point. First of all, it's going to cost you too much money. Second of all, the hurdle, the tax is now changing all over the world. Today is one thing, tomorrow is another thing. You have to find the simple, much quicker way to do it. And one of the, one of the, the, the quickest ways is partnership. We have to structure that partnership really well. And revenue sharing is one of those uh, that I really like. But I love about innovating in a franchise model. Why? Because it gives the, the risk, it balances the risk between the partners. So obviously, you put condition, KPIs, and all those things. But you're going to have to understand that you cannot afford to take time to expand. Because somewhere, some. Somewhere, somehow, somebody will be taking your idea. Somebody will try to duplicate your idea and do it better than you and faster than you. So the faster you get out there, the faster you prove your model, the more dominant you become. So it, it, it's that simple. So you have to simplify your implementation expansion plan. Uh, don't waste time trying to have physical. You can do those things. And I can give you some, some few examples, for example, you know, especially in technology. And software, you know, people tend to want to control so much or, or want to generate more revenue. Uh, but you can generate your, your profit margin increase much dramatically when you have a partner and share the risk. And yes, on paper, your margin, you collect less money, but you have much more less expenses, much more less uh, building a team to implement all those things. I truly believe. The, the, the expansion plan of the future will require a, a small amount of people to, to implement uh, whatever you know idea you have, but very efficient. And that's why um, you know technology comes in because you have to develop a software that will allow you to monitor your expansion plan, so you can centralize that expansion plan instead of decentralize it. You can decentralize this decision making, but you centralize. Uh, the expansion plan control, and I hope it makes sense. And there's two big differences, you know. You centralize the, the, the information you collect, them, but you decentralize the decision making, meaning because each country you'll have to adapt and, and, and sort it out, you know, uh, on the different products you may have or services. So you cannot have one idea fits all, true, but you can centralize. Uh, the information you collected for monitoring and evaluation purposes that you can do because of software. So it's important to know the two, and it's important to understand that if you really want to implement your innovation on a quick basis. Thanks, guys.